What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new edition of WWE Action Figure Surgery. I feel like it has been too long, man. It's been too long since we've been in front... Well, I've been in front of the camera, but we've had a lot of news. We've had a lot of stuff going on. I got sick. There was a lot of things going on. My birthday passed. You know, it's just a bunch of stuff hidden and hidden and hidden. So, I felt like it had been a while since we had just sat down, filmed some stuff, done a surgery, done anything in the filming area. But here we are today, man, and I'm pretty excited about what we have going on here today. So, we're going to get into it. Man, we have WWE action figure surgery slowly but surely approaching episode 100. I have no idea what the hell we're gonna do on episode 100. Maybe by the time we get to episode 100, WWE Elite 100 will be featured. I think that would be cool. Maybe, maybe that'll be a possibility. But uh, I mean, if it's Elite 100, it, we probably shouldn't have to fix them up, right? But maybe we can use extra accessories or something to fix up other figures. I don't know. But here we have today, man. You guys will notice the first thing. You guys know we always start off with the the figure on the stretcher is what we always start off with, and you'll notice that. It is none other than me, and it's me in my commentary attire. Well, we're gonna fix that up today, man. We have my figure right here. You also notice I took the head scan off and it chipped, and so I need to get me a new figure, man. Uh, speaking of which, you guys know that I'm wrestling at WrestleMania very soon, GCW, and just uh, just stay tuned, Brad. Just stay tuned. But here's my figure. I'm going to put the build a figure Jimmy Hart jacket and arms on here, and I want to see what it looks like. I'm gonna keep the khakis. I thought about buying an extra. Bret Hart WrestleMania Elite and putting the black legs up in there from the Build-A-Figure Vince McMahon. But I love the khakis. I like wearing the khakis, you know, it just classic khakis. Basketball, if you know what I'm saying. Gotta get jobs, then you get the money, then you get the khakis, then you get the bishes. I'm telling you, it's jobs. We gotta get jobs, then we get the khakis, then we get the chicks. But here's my figure. I'm gonna fix him up nice. Can't wait to see what the pink jacket looks like on there. I've worn this figure, or I've worn this worn this suit. My bad. I've worn this suit for years, man. It's time to change it. Let's see what I can look like in my pink suit over here. I'm gonna get more of that build a figure, but for the case, this is what we're gonna do. Next up, we have Rey Mysterio. Now I wanted more Rey Mysterio fix-ups. You guys know how I love the Rey Mysterio fix-ups. Now this one's gonna be a little bit wacky. All right, just stay with me. We have the two most recent elites, or at least I think that yellow one may have came between these. There's so many damn Rey Mysterios, you never know what's going on, but here we go, man. You have the recent top picks, my favorite Rey Mysterio figure ever made. We're just gonna switch the boots. Now, you're probably thinking, why in the blue hell are you gonna put the red over here? Well, Brad, if you look, he has red on the mask here. He has red on here. This is kind of a maroonish red. It's more pink, I'm gonna be real, but this up here and on here is red, and so I'm thinking these boots may look pretty fire over here. We're gonna switch it over there, and plus I have multiples of this figure. I have multiples of this figure, and so I'm gonna put the black boots over here because it matches the rest of the gloves and stuff and it won't be like crazy but I still think you know since you have multiples of a figure you might as well just fix them up change them up do a little ditzy and see what we got so there's Rey Mysterio I think that'll be pretty fire next up we have the Hall of Champions Batista now you guys know that we did have the Ultimate Edition I recently got another one and I'm putting this head sculpt on there bro look how much better this looks compared to this one now I love the Hall of Champions Batista one of my favorite Batista figures of all time maybe even top three could be top two it ain't better than the Ultimate Edition but this figure's head over here is going to do wonders, so I can't wait for that one. On top of that, we also have a headless Randall Keith, and you guys know that we did feature this on Action Figure Surgery not too long ago, I think, but I don't know if I want to put... These are our choices right here. You have a choice between the bald Elite 9 style head sculpt, and then you have the... I don't know if this was the Fan Takeover or the Decade of Domination. I don't think it was Decade of Domination because I had to, like, cut this. You know, this wasn't just interchangeable, so I don't think it was Decade of Domination, but we do have this one as well. So basically you're going to take either of these heads and put it on this body. Now I don't know which one we're going to do. We may heat them both up at the same time, pop them on there, and then, you know, switch them out to see. I feel like the bald one, the pissed off one, will look better, but who knows? You know, you never know. The youngish Orton with the tattoos may may work out. Maybe he needs a 5 o'clock shadow. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what comes of it. We'll, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But not only that, we also have another head swap back here, and that is going to be this Roddy Piper. Now when I got the Daylift Piper and the Legends Piper, you guys know that I hated the legends here, but then when I kept looking at them, I was like, dude, are these the same head sculpt? They're actually not. You guys can see the hairstyle's different, the face is different. This one is a lot better. I'm going to put this head over here, and then I'm just going to leave this guy sh just headless, you know? I'm, it'll be a great body here. We'll have our shirt right here. Maybe we could turn this into a different guy. Maybe, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure that out. I don't know what I'm exactly going to do with this guy just yet. However, I think this will be a beautiful head swap. So we're going to sw head swap our Roddy Pipers right here, and then we're also 
also so this is where I ran into a little bugaboo and that is I was going to switch these boots out for the appropriate boots but I could not find any I don't have an extra pair so I don't know what I'm going to do there I don't uh, you know it's just black I could just put black boots on it but I figure if we're going to do that you might as well just keep the cool lime green that matches you know this kind of looks like what he would wear in like 2002 2003 of course he wasn't with DX but I mean in like the different colorful boots but I could not find an extra pair so I'm going to have to attempt to find a pair and that's just what I'm going to have to do man but there's a Triple H figure still love this figure still think it's a really sweet fix up but I, I gotta switch these boots out it's been like that long enough time to get it appropriate time to get it accurate and stuff like that but with all those things being said man we are ready to dive into the surgery we're going to conduct here today on action figure surgery all right guys here we go diving into it let's go ahead and start off with my handsome face right here so let's just start off with me right here I'm gonna pop that off right there you guys know how build a figures work you know you just deconstruct them very simple very easy to do uh i don't know if i want the bow tie like obviously what like what I, what am i gonna do with this you know what what the hell am i gonna do with this this keyboard tie right here i mean i could slide this off and then i could go black shirt and then i could paint the tie completely white and then you know just pop this in here like this i guess if i if i wanted like that wouldn't be bad i guess but i don't know if i like it you know i don't i don't know if i quite like this there's a couple options here so this is option number one and i could just pop the uh, or I could paint the tie white I could do that right there but I don't know if I like that it's not bad it's not you know it's not horrific but I don't think that's what I want to do I'm gonna look at the other option I'd like to paint the belt too it'd make it look more official anyways we're going to pop the arms out of this torso god in heaven and then we're going to slide the jacket off and then we are going to do the same thing over here so we got to slide this torso up in there so we got to take these jacket arms off and then push this like so i think this is the mean gene flashback figure i think and i almost only found this figure like one time ever maybe maybe not i can't remember i think i put the black legs and the red jacket on the mean gene and then i took this for myself you know i had to jack mean jeans jacket you know it's just the way it is you know this is my show so but if we can finagle this torso out of here i hope this looks good because you know I've, I've already went this far with it maybe i can actually put mean jean back in the in the blue jacket honestly i didn't think about it the reason it probably fits so tight is because it's not supposed to this is howard finkel's torso i think and i just kind of finagled it so uh you know we're just gonna plop this onto here and look how dope this is gonna oh dude this is gonna look fresh as hell i think so if we just pop this into here i think these arms can go in here yeah i think yeah that's the, you got a little something special going on there young man so so we pop that on there and then pop this arm into here make sure it goes in and then yeah dude look at that right there got a little okay and then we pop these legs into here oh my goodness gracious alive look what we got bro look what we got right here oh my goodness in heaven what a nice thing to say well look at that at the end again i may get some black legs to put on there just so it you know it may fit more uniform but we'll look at it next up on the agenda is going to be getting these boots from this ray these boots from this ray randy orton's head don't need to heat this up in any capacity uh we're gonna heat up both head sculpts though uh let's see we got a white trusty hair dryer making a return i know people miss the trusty knife you know that's just the way it is anybody that's a fan of the channel you got to be a fan of the trusty knife but oh god i don't really want to pull these accessories off man but this head sculpt is going to be a whore to get off look how thickums it is bro i just i got it uh you guys know the rules you guys know the rules it's the rules of surgery get all of your cloth accessories anything that you don't want heated up man you better get it the hell out the car because if you don't you will pay for it later dude if he was on ball joints that would be so nice he's not though so shut up here we go roddy and then we have the other roddy with the nice shirt so roddy getting all the cool cloth accessories man we're going to take that off throw that over there and then we're gonna heat both of these up like so is that all we got no we also have batista we have batista so we're gonna put that there there and we're going to heat all of this up and i'm going to go for the high score and try to get all of this heated up at the same time and we don't have to heat up this batista ultimate edition head because it's interchangeable so that's just excellent all right brad getting the white trusty air dryer All right, Brad, that was a decent amount of time. I don't know how successful. Oh, my God. The fingers are not conditioned anymore, you know? 
All right, there's Batista's head. He's off. He's off and good, you know? He's off and good. I had a head itch, so I had to take a break, see, for a second. We're back live, and... Roddy Piper's head's on fire, and I'm not going to use this head. I do not like it. I don't know why it has that dumb expression. He looks stupid. Uh, this head. Oh, God. We're going to pop this onto the Legends figure. This is actually going to look heat, I think. Already looks a hell of a lot better. We'll look at him. I'm going to put him over here with my figure. And then we have... All right, let's put Batista's on here first. We're going to put Batista's head on here. We're going to switch Ray. So, popping the ultimate Batista head onto the Hall of Champions. Holy hell. Now, we're going to pop these boots. Are you, are you effing me? Dude, how in the hell did that not get heated up enough? Oh, that makes me sick. Oh, that makes me sick. Sick, sick, sick. Makes me sick. Sick, sick, sick. Makes me sick. All right. Don't make me sick again. Here we go. Oh, Jesus. This is still way harder than I feel like. That one was better. That one was much better than the first go around. Ah! Lord in heaven. Got some good rage moments in this episode. Lord Jesus. I could just cuss. All right, this boot going in there. Oh! Ah! All right, rays are done. I don't ever want to look at them. All right, and now we have our choices of Orton. All right, so here's option one. Option one, and then option two. I think I like option two better. Slightly, just slightly. I think it really Fs it up because this head sculpt right here is like looking to the right, and it kind of ruins it. But this right here, that's that's money. Let's look at everything we did today on action figure surgery. All right, guys, so looking at everything we got here today, pretty excited, man. It actually all turned out uh, just, uh, uh, first of all, just like I imagined because I'm a genius. And then second... Secondly, it turned out fantastic, man. Honestly, just a great... I know we didn't have, like, a ton of things going on today, but I think everything that we did here is just fantastic, dude. Uh, this right here is underrated, I think. I think the black really completes this one right here. Matches the gloves, kind of ties in. I know that this is a really colorful attire, but I could absolutely see in Ray where, you know, the black on the black with the blue accents there. And then this one right here turned out really sweet. The red boots on this new Top Picks Ray Mysterio is really clean. I feel like white gloves, pink gloves... Are or even just painting some details into these gloves would do wonders for this figure. We'll see about that, but I really like the way the black and white, like it actually, you wouldn't think that this red right here would fit with this figure, but it absolutely does, and it's low key, very fire. So that that's cool, I like that a lot. We do have both rays there, you guys can let me know what you think of that down below. We also have my figure over here. Now I'm looking good, I like this a lot. You know, I, I will get black pants just to see what it looks like, you know, I, I'll play around with that. Maybe throw some white shoes in here. You know, you just, you can, you can mix and match. You can do some different things, but I like the way this turned out. I need a new head sculpt for this guy. Need to get like some 3D printed heads, maybe, you know, just some updates, you know, really is the main thing. Get some updates updated stuff in here, but I like the pink jacket with my figure here, and I get more usage out of this than I would a Jimmy Hart anyway, so this looks nice to me. We also have our Randall Keith right here. This looks very nice, man. This old head sculpt is one of the better Randy Orton heads ever made. I just think that is that is wonderful, bro. It, it just looks so good, and this one it has such good paint apps still. Like, it hasn't chipped really at all. It just adds to it. it. It really adds to it. I think it looks really clean, and then we also have Batista. Look at that, dude. Look at how good the Hall of Champions looks now with this new head sculpt on it. I mean, that is just gorgeous, man. They they knocked that Ultimate Edition out of the park, and the new heads are just insane. And we also have the Ruthless Aggression Elite coming soon that'll also take it over the top. And then we have our Legends Roddy Piper with the better head sculpt. I like this head way more than the other one. Like, way more. I, I just think it's so much better. Even though they're very similar, this one is better. I can confidently say that. I put his accessories back on there. Now he's looking a whole lot better. But that is going to wrap up Action Figure Surgery today, man. Really good episode. Really fun one for me. You guys can let me know what you think down in the comment section below. What do you think of all of our fix-ups, man? I'd really, really appreciate it. Which one is your favorite? Which Ray is better in your opinion? Do you like the red boots? I think it really sets it off with the black outsoles as well. But that is going to wrap up Action Figure Surgery, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on all of it down in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. Have a blessed day, and don't cross the line. You cross the line, I've been